Well, Saturday action and the Sunwolves, your second favorite team, Halsey. Everyone's second favorite Everyone's team. Everyone's second favorite team. The Rebels are over there. Some are saying it could be the Sunwolves' first win. Are they really? Well, I think it could also be the, the Rebels' first big win as well. It could be the Sunwolves' first tough loss. First time they've played back-to-back -back games. They've travelled from Singapore back to Japan. Uh, one of their players is ruled out through suspension this week. I'm, I'm predicting a big Rebels win this week. Well, they haven't, well they've only won one game overseas, the Rebels. So this could be a, maybe yeah. a starting point, kickstart the rest of their season. Yeah, they're over there this week. We saw some good footage of them. Unfortunately, the Sunwolves, the only thing that's going to hold them as been working so far is that scary-looking Pingin mascot Pingin, of theirs. If yeah. Pingin's in the dressing shed to pre-game, look out, Rebels. Well, there's a few former Rebels in the Sunwolves team, in Kita Inagaki, and the captain, Shota Hori, and Laurie Weeks spoke about the two former players now lining up against him. Shota's, Shota's a superstar. He's an excellent player. I think if you watch... Uh, any of his games, is he's one of the best players on the field. Um, and Gucky himself is a very physical and very good scrummager. So, um, look, a big challenge, but uh, looking forward to it. Um, he's a very dynamic player. He's obviously a strong leader. I think uh, he's one of those hookers that you, you'll see very comfortable out in the back line. He had the silkiest hands in our team when he was here. And he doesn't mind putting a little kick in or two. So he's a very dangerous and exciting player. Saturday night's action sees the Reds against the Blues. What do you make... Blues have shown a lot, shown a lot of promise under Tana Umanga, and the Reds have named their unchanged team, which they haven't done in a long time, Halsey. Yeah, it's only round four, and it's the first time <laughs> they've been able to name the same side two weeks in a row. And it's important because they're keeping players in key positions. Uh, Carl Mogger Hunt's already played three positions in the back line. For a guy that's new to rugby, mm. that's not ideal. But, again, it's going to be another tough challenge for the Reds. They, they'll be a little bit pleased with how they showed a bit more ticker on the weekend there against the Rebels. They had that game there. They had a chance to take a shot of field goal at the end of the game. They didn't take it, but they competed a lot more than they would, and they're back at home. So, yeah, you know, who knows what will happen. But again, I'm going to tip the Blues because I'm liking what they're doing under Coach Tunner and Munger. The Stormers, Brumbies at 4 a.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. You going to get Sunday. up for that? Mate, I will definitely be up for it. It's going to be a ripper. Obviously, the Brumbies have settled. With, well, it's been a big week um, off the park with David Pocock re-signing. It's a hard place to go, Cape Town. Oh, there's harder places to go. Oh, come honest. on, mate. Yeah. Bloemfontein, that's <laughs> a harder place to go. You'd just be chilling on the beach oh, at Cape Town. Yeah, Camps Bay, a couple of nice places yeah. in Cape Town. It's All one right. of the nicer places to go in South Africa. Uh, and the Brumbies... So a big win for the Brumbies then, is that what you're calling? First test of the year, and yeah, I think they'll win. We'll enjoy all the reaction on rugby.com.au.